Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to talk to you about some of these uh, energies. So I want to start off by saying this isn't just energy, it's love. Okay, let's remind ourselves that this is about love and how have you first known about this? It's been by love felt in your body. For some people that was a very abrupt jolt of an awakening that you experienced. For other people, it's been sort of a gradual thing. Sometimes things that have happened uh, during your nighttime that you haven't been able to connect all the dots on. And that is uh, how some people's journey has been. Are you on a twin flame journey? How are you able to know this? Well, some of it actually is by understanding that there's things happening in your body. By understanding that and feeling that there's things that are happening beyond your control, but which you're a part of. So today, I want to focus a little bit and uh, tell you about how this is affecting people. Now, just also as a reminder, I want to say that I don't pretend to be an astrologer, but there are some cosmic level connections you have that do affect your bodies, just like how lunar cycles can affect your body, just like it does the tide. So when the ocean has its tide come in or go out, and your bodies can feel some of the same ebb and flow. Some of the ebb and flow is about love. It ebbs and it flows, and some of you were worried that it has ebbed away from you or left you. It's like drifted back out again. You're not going to miss with this. So even if you are, you know, somehow thinking, am I past the time? We're actually in a new time. That's a part of this. There are some events that are going to spotlight things. We have a full moon coming up, we have an eclipse, and those aspects of the light and the shadow are actually going to highlight or spotlight some things for people. So whether or not you believe in it, cosmic energies can have an effect on your body. Now what I'm presenting is for twin flames, twin flame specific. So there's a lot of people out there that you know, they don't even believe in twin flames, but they'll tell people, oh, it's your twin flame, or this might be twin flame, or it's not twin flame. Everything is twin flame for twin flames. Hey, did you feel a bump in the energies in the night? Yes, twin flame. Did you uh, break out in something? Twin flame. Did you have something wonderful happen? Twin flame. Did you have a message through the radio? Twin flame, twin flame, twin flame. But it's hard to put that into a context when things still keep happening. Why? Because there are things that still need adjusting and mostly need elevating. So for those of you that are expecting physical union, and you might find this sort of a paradox, you are finding that you might have to retreat from the world a bit so that things that are highlighted for you and are spotlighted for you can be focused on. There's a focus upon health in all areas, okay? By now, some of this should be very apparent to you, but it's going to get down to your basic stuff. What basics do you actually not just need, but what would you find as a basic thing for you while you're getting together again? Maybe it's a new place to live. Maybe it's a new bank account. Maybe it's your own credit card. Maybe it's a checkup because you don't want to have to go through all that stuff when you're together. Maybe it's all of the above. Okay. And that is something that I do discuss and talk about and give people guidance on in my classes. What is it for you specifically? What does it mean? Because even if you're someone that says, I did this, I did this, I did this, I'm doing all the work. Okay. You're doing all the work. Don't you know, then trust what you're doing. But what if you're not sure that is there something of a blank spot somewhere? Or is there some place where you're assisting, you're giving a boost, you're not doing everything for your twin, but your twin needs a boost. And what would that be? 
Well, it's going to be in the area that is the number one deal killer of all relationships, money and health, okay? This is where a lot of relationships that people have seen actually do fall apart, where one person doesn't take good care of their health or he has a health crisis. Many times we've heard stories of someone being abandoned while they're sick with cancer or someone gets abandoned right as they're having someone's baby or someone gets abandoned the minute that, you know, some kind of flow runs out, like could be anything, but usually it's money. And this will sometimes make things uh, alter and change. Now, as you go through the shifts this week, gearing up here for what's coming up, you will find that those shifts go very swiftly for you. And it's important to do the retreat. That means take a step back. That doesn't mean, you know, just delve in and see what do the astrologers say? What does this say? What does that say? You have to know where and how to retreat. That is where I teach. I teach you how to do this in my webinar. I am still doing my landscape webinar until August 9th. You have to focus on your earthly relationships. Those earthly relationships are now shifting into high gear or they need to shift into high gear. This is going to be more of the financial aspects and internal health. Internal health means your guts, your inside parts. What does that mean for you? It's going to be different things for different people. Uh, for some people, it might be addressing stomach issues because now you finally can because now there's a spotlight on it and things will be much more conducive to becoming healthy. Maybe there's more innovations. This is also going to mean trust in other sectors of the economy, such as the medical area, such as the financial arena, such as the areas of transportation, anything that you may need for your union going forward. Because these are not really needs in the needy way. These are necessities. These are for you two to have a wonderful, pleasant, earthly relationship while you're still here, while you're here. You're going to be living here. Some of you have families. What do your kids want? What do you wish for them? How do you go about creating this? How do you go about creating your life? What if it's becoming very confusing for you and you're very mixed up and you're feeling like you're getting mixed messages? What if that mixed message has to do with the word mission? Okay, many times this comes up and mission will be very confusing for people because while there is a mission, people sometimes take that to mean, well, what does it have to do with my livelihood? Am I doing that? Okay. And that is another thing that I help people with. You're many times exhorted, pushed, prompted, prodded, go out, do your mission. But what is that exactly? And how does it pertain to you? And furthermore, is it something that helps your union and helps your twin? Or is it a hindrance? Because hindering can happen. Do you want to hinder anything? Do you want to delay the process? I don't know. Only you can answer that. However, it can happen if you get onto a track that might not be the optimal, highest and best track for you. So, when it comes to energy, energy, this is more than energy. It is love. It's love at the cosmic level. It's connections to your cosmic heart, the cosmic being that you are, and continuing to stay here and have your physical union, the thing you, the very thing that you want with your other half. And what you're going to find is that there's things that are starting to get a little bit scrambled. It's a bit like scrambled eggs, you know, that's mixed up. And this is another thing I want to tell you about. The body. Your body is the one that let you know about this in the first place. Not your head, not the words, because a lot of you had to go searching for what this is. What is it exactly? 
What just happened to me? What was that rush? What was it called? Why did I feel such love? Who is that person to me? Okay, it happened through your body. So I need to steer you back here to your body and to, you know, stop some of the stuff that's going on here and get it focused and get you back to feeling. Why? Because when you feel, that's how you navigate. When you feel, that's how you connect to your twin flame and you gravitate towards each other. You don't gravitate away. The education of this is going to continue. It's something that has actually started already. And yet getting things that are accurate and that feel right to you should be something that you are seeking. I have that information. I've been documenting the things with the new light body for several years. And I have it. I have it ready to go. Some of you are going to go on to working with this. Some of you are simply going to find your calling of the heart in some other aspect of the economic sector. It could be anything that you really gravitate towards. However, knowing your body is still important no matter what you feel your mission or calling is. That's why I am continuing to present this and say body, 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 your twin flame body needs you to know some things and need you to get good at opening your channels. That's how you connect with each other. That's how you stay out of depression and illness. That's how you prevent things. That's how you draw in the highest level of you possible at any given time. For some of you, that is the fifth dimensional level. Not everything out there is going to tell you it because I present this in my webinars. And people who are able to um, feel it, you're going to feel the sense of that. You're going to be able to feel things with your body that you never thought were possible. So let me ask you another thing. Do you have things that run in your family? Okay, like in my family, um, occasionally there's some diabetes. Also in my family, issues with the gallbladder. In some families, it's high blood pressure. In some families, it's breast cancer. Is that supposed to be what your future is? I hope the answer is no. Please don't be fatalistic about it. Please be optimistic that there are ways that you're able to do through your body. So that is why I'm presenting this information because this isn't something that you just love each other with your heads because if that were that simple, you'd be able to say, I love you. I love you too. Let's go get married and let's go. Okay. A lot of people are finding that they are saying these words. It's complicated. It's getting uncomplicated is what's happening. It was complicated and now it is getting uncomplicated, but you still need to kick it into high gear. So how do you get everything to shift into high gear? How do you get the guidance that you need on your internal health, financial, because you're not going to be able to do things at a fear level anymore. That's where sometimes people aren't understanding that being fearful of some sector means you're not able to attract that right angel that can help you with any of these other sectors. Okay. If you are doing something in one sector, okay, let's say you're a gifted architect and yet you're an architect that needs other professionals. You need an engineer. You need an electrician. You need someone to pour the cement. You need all those professionals, okay? You need the foundation, so you need that cement person so badly, but it's not a need. It's just a part of everything getting shifted into high gear, okay? These are a part of the earthly relationships. Setting your earthly relationships sets the tone for your cosmic relationships. And I do know that a lot of people are sort of feeling like you're hitting the wall, okay? You hit the wall, you're kind of going along, and boom. And how do you get up and over where you need to be? Come and find out. I have several sessions. It usually will involve body work. So the part that you're in right now has a lot to do with your causal body. I do a causal body session. So do you need body work? Do you need to get the love energy in deeply? Do you need it to get 
to the areas that are going to help you shift this stuff into high gear. Are you feeling lonely? How do you get out of the loneliness? How do you get things to feeling balanced, to feeling the balance in your heart where that lone, the edge of the loneliness is taken off and yet you still desire to be with your other? You're not going to call this off. There is no calling this off. This is past the point of no return for a lot of you. Some people might even think, and you'll be quite surprised to find out, it starts to hit the accelerator pedal again, like pedal to the metal. So I have several things coming up here. I have a live class here in Chicago, which is a three-day twin flame body class. We're going to cover quite a bit. August 10th, 11th, and 12th from 9 to 3. It's here in Chicago. If you live in Chicago, it would be very close for you. I'm going to have the information down below, the information on my website. And if you are um, coming into Chicago, okay, there's it's... It's actually fairly inexpensive to come into Chicago and to book a place either on Airbnb or there's a lot of hotels I could um, direct you to for three days to have some experiences that edify you, that really make you confident with who it is you are, who you both are, and to have some experiences of your twin, to learn what to do and to really Get yourself sailing through this. Lionsgate webinar. This is one that I'm doing daily. It's my midday. If you can't make it, I'm sending you the recordings. We're covering quite a bit of topics here. And in September 15th, I have a one-day workshop, which is in a suburb called Highland Park up here in you know, Chicago. It's a suburb of Chicago. It is at the Infinity Foundation. And this is offering continuing education credits. So if you are a professional like a psychologist and you would like those, it offers five and a half continuing education hours. I don't know any Twin Flame classes that are doing that so far, but mine is. And uh, that's a one day. If you don't know about Twin Flames, if you don't know if you're on this journey, come and ask me because there is a way for me to lead you through it so that you feel it, not me. You, that's where it has to be. It has to be you feeling this because that's how it started. It started with feeling. It started with love. And that's how it has to keep going. It has to keep going with love where the love gets you higher and higher and higher and higher. The love keeps lifting you higher than you've ever been before. And that's quite true. And while it is a song lyric, Well, it is a song lyric. Sorry about that. I guess the stock market's doing okay. I got a little pop-up. <laughs> Speaking, it had a pop in there about financial. Okay. That's another, um, that's an, maybe another topic uh, that people do get concerned about, about their future. Okay. Many of us were socialized in certain ways where you have to, um, you know, maybe not plan for the future and wing it, or you do plan for the future and you hope for the best and you hope that certain cataclysms don't happen. I can tell you for Twin Flames, they are not intended to happen. But also, if you were to invest in something like the stock market, okay, some people do. And I'm going to give you one word here, diversify, okay? That means don't put all your eggs in one basket. But what does that mean for people? That means that you have to give a comprehensive approach. You need all of these other relationships to have a nice life. You need the travel sector if you're going to be traveling. You need transportation if you're going to be traveling. You need housing. You need a house to live in. You want to have your love nest with your twin. You want to have a healthy financial relationship. That's the number one deal killer of relationships, people. Finances, okay? So what if, what if you have a twin, okay, and their addiction happens to be gambling? We find out he's a gambler. He likes horses. He likes cards. He likes to go to Las Vegas, and, and he hides it, okay? He's not really telling the truth. He tells the truth when he wins. Oh, hey, honey, 
I got some really great stuff. I, I, I bought you something here. Oh, well, thanks. But when things are in her love for him, it's blinding her to what's going on. She senses it, but she chooses not to say anything because after all, she doesn't want to rock the boat. He's very sweet and generous and kind. Okay. But the big white elephant in the room with these two is that he's got something that he's hiding. And financial infidelity is sometimes worse than sexual infidelity for people. And how do people take charge of some of the things that will be important and necessary, especially if there's children? Some people learn, some people learn from family, some people learn the hard way. You should be learning from the guidance of your union. So while I'm not here to tell you, do this, do that, invest in this, invest in that, should you choose to, so how it works is should you choose to, you would tune in and you tune in with each other and you would find out those answers by how it feels. But some of you are still so up in the head if you were on the Titanic and you had to decide on a life preserver or a lifeboat, you would go down with the ship. And we don't want that. We don't want anyone going down. We Things are shifting into high gear for a reason. We want you to be confident. We want you to feel empowered. I want that. That is what I'm teaching people, is how to feel your own power from within your union. And by the way, I'm going to say it again here. Union means the reunification of your subtle bodies. If the old causal body is one that's still connected to timelines that gamble, it's going to fall away. But how do you click in all the new stuff? This is what I have for you. Okay. Another spotlight this weekend, blood money. Okay. What is blood money? It's actually money made from other people's blood, blood, sweat, and tears. It can also be things that are connected to bloodlust, like uh, forms of gambling such as boxing, fighting, MM, uh, mixed martial arts. But sometimes it's even worse. It's not, you know, up here, it's not a nice little thing where you're sitting in the pub. It's been street stuff, stuff out in the street. What if that blood money is even worse? Okay, and it's been there in the past, but your twin is tied to it somehow. Okay, that's the kind of thing that will baffle people because you won't exactly be able to know how it is that, you know, how is your twin, how am I ever going to get this shifted? I know how to shift it. Now, one other thing that I do have for you, which is very new, is my Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine alignment session. Now, that is a very deep and involved one that will guarantee you an out-of-body experience with your twin to bring things to a level so that you are actually able to really get this. I mean, when I say get it, it's not a mind thing. It's highly experiential. It has to be something you experience, which you may not have experienced in a while. Okay, I have that because of the connections I made. I have that because of the being that I am. I have that because that is sometimes what people need to get things shifted. So if there is deep stuff, okay, we don't have to name it, but if it's deep or if you sense it, check it out. Come to see me, write to me. The descriptions are below. Come and join my class on the 11th, 10th, 11th, 12th. That's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's on a weekend. Come join my other workshop. In this class, we will be doing several lucid meditations with your twin where you connect with your twin. We will be doing several of those. So this one I highly recommend to you. Or, yes, I do readings. Yes, I do sessions. Yes, I do body work. I've been doing body work for years. In fact, I started by doing body work before my higher self said, start getting on the phone to do readings with people. And I said, why? I'm doing body work. <laughs> but the answer was that um, doing the readings sort of rounded out my skills. Okay, I already had gifts, but I've become very skilled at my gifts. 
and I don't mind saying it, I also have an array of webinars, one of which I will recommend, it'll be in the description below, Expansion of Love Erasing the Past. Now, a lot of people are very ripe for this right now. It would be very helpful for you. How do you, how do, you do that? Okay, I'm talking about erasing the past, but how do you actually do that? I have the how-to. Expanding your love. Sometimes you feel like maybe you have so much love, and yet what I'm going to tell you is your heart actually has the capacity for more, so you will still go through expansion. That's what the shifting is for, shifting into high gear, okay? You are expected to be treated nicely, to be treated ham handsomely. You deserve. You deserve good food, a nice place to live, safety, okay? You deserve all of those things. You also deserve love. You also deserve affection. You deserve some tender, loving care. You start by giving it to yourself. Invest in yourself. That is what you're doing. This is these are these are things that are going to keep going. Okay, I'm going to keep having these every month, every month, every month. This is what I do. I could say I do it 24/7, but this is an investment in yourself for whatever you'll be doing. And particularly while you're doing things when you're together, are you supposed to do something together? Well, let's find out. And what I can say to you is that a lot of people feel this, but what does that really mean and how does it play out? So you're not going to fall into the same patterns. This is not your grandma's marriage. This is not the marriage that is maybe your cultural uh, background would tell you. This is your divine marriage and this is a completely different level. And you will be very welcome to know that because some of you have really only gotten a taste as intense as it was. That's only a taste. Okay. So if you take that energy and you run it through these small little bodies, imagine at a higher level with your twin flame body, how much more that you're going to feel. So thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you there. Come and join any of my classes. The live one here in Chicago, my daily webinar, which is going on until August 9th, or my workshop, and I will be posting more. Thanks so much. Please have a wonderful week. If you have any questions, email me. I am at uh, twinflamesmerge at gmail.com or my website, www.twinflamesmerge.com. It's called Twin Flames Merge because... I help twin flames to merge themselves together. And that merging experience, highly experiential, highly delightful, and you'll want more of it. So come and, come and get more. Thanks so much. Bye now.